This is a video on how to upgrade and modify your bug zapper so that way the bugs don't laugh at you and you get the last laugh. So, this is what I did here. <clears throat> These are two microwave capacitors. I got one here and then I got one right over here. This is a condenser fan motor capacitor at 7.5 microfarads at 220 to 3 whatever and basically all the power comes off the board which would be a board like this if you have resistors on your board R3, 4, 5, and 6 cut those out of there, they're garbage and this is an old board I accidentally cooked from wiring the other one wrong I cooked the transistor off which goes in that half moon spot right over here where my thumb is and um, basically how to wire this is uh, I can't remember exactly which wires are positive and negative because I put both the same color so I'm not sure which one's which so I didn't mark it on the actual paper only because it was not unknown um, I mean I do know what comes off the board this bot bottom lower one's a negative this one's positive but I can't remember how I plugged it into my capacitor over here and which they go across, comes around, goes into this one, everything everything comes out of this capacitor and jumps into the net. And um, all your leads from your board, <clears throat> this is the exact same board that's inside of this one. It's charging right now. And this this capacitor will start making a popping sound, pop, 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 pop. That means it's charged and it's extremely dangerous. So as soon as we hear that popping sound, I'll go ahead and set it off for you. And all your power comes off your board, <clears throat> goes into the first microwave capacitor, then you got two more leads that come off. One goes into your uh, fan capacitor, the other side goes into the other microwave capacitor, and it comes back out and goes into the other side. Then you have your two screens, you got your inside screen and your outside screen. You've got a microwave diode in order to help power uh, dump out of all the capacitors so it doesn't have to go all through this one capacitor. So, and basically, you just let this sucker charge up for a minute. I already heard two pops and it'll start popping like crazy. Here in a second. Come on, get a couple more pops going. And I'm going to go ahead and set this thing off. And that's how you wire it. Very simple. Your wires do not come off the board. Ooh, that's a good one. Your wires do not come off the board and go into the screen. They go into the capacitors first, then out your fan capacitor, then into your screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this guy off, and it's very loud. One, one zap and they are gone. So, yeah, it takes a minute to charge, but you only got to hit them once. And that's it. And if you have something like mosquitoes and small bugs like that, yeah, a little one, a little bug zapper will definitely take them out. But if you got bigger bugs that just like to f laugh at you, like flies and stuff like that, um, this will also kill fruit flies too because the spark is so huge, it'll actually arc across them. The magnetic field that it pulls off, that it sends off, will actually send the bugs away. It will also suck them in, too, if they get close enough. It'll actually pull them apart from negative to positive. As soon as they make contact, they explode. Um, oh, this thing's already charged up again. And we'll go ahead and set it off. <clears throat> actually kind of getting a couple small sparks here. That's all right. Um, so yeah, anyways, this is how you wire it. Alright, thanks for watching.